This this song is called Colonial Cousins. <laughs> Fantastic, <laughs> man! Yeah! Yeah Bring it on, imperialism! Just Nothing better than white people cocking by empire. Uh, today we got a, uh, it says English. I don't know what that is, but. Wow, Colonial Cousins. Okay, may, hold on. I don't know if that's actually the band name or the title of the song. Okay. Because it says Colonial Cousins. Krishna Hariharan. Leslie Lewis. I don't, I don't know specifically, but this does say Colonial Cousins. And you do know that when we refer to like, if we hear Colonial. We're thinking one of two things. We're thinking about redcoats in the American Revolution or colonial cousins. We're, we're thinking about the South, the Confederates, and incest. Yeah. Uh, if you didn't know this about uh, certain parts of the United States. Uh, Inbreeding is a common occurrence. And it's an ongoing joke. Yes. So I think the states that would be... Louisiana. And I think it's more Alabama. Well, and Louisiana and the Bayou. I think it's Alabama and Kentucky yeah. more. Kentucky is especially uh, in that stereotype. But yeah, down down in that region, uh, it's just known for inbreeding. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> and so unfortunately, I think you know this, mm. the Irish. Yeah. You know about Conan O'Brien. I think I've mentioned that before. What? Conan, they, he did a DNA test. He's 100% Irish. Nothing else. And the guy who's like, wow, that's really cool. And the guy, the guy who did the DNA test, he said, actually, Conan, it's not because it means you're a product of inbreeding. There's no other race but your people. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Anyways, this is a colonial cousin. I don't know what that, that means other All than right. that. Um, Watch, it'll be something. Because I don't have any deep, deep moving, I auspicious. Here we are. I don't have any notes. Um, presenting some music composed by Colonial Cousins. Okay, so the band right. is Colonial Cousins. All right. Well, uh, it's, it's going to be something deep and wonderful, and we're making fun of it. And if we are, forgive us in advance. We didn't know. We're stupid. Hey, guys. We came into it blind. Our stupid reactions. Yep. If you want our intelligent reactions, go somewhere. Go some, Not here. Oh, my God. <laughs>
I cut the seal. Okay. Yeah, very, very seal. Uh, very seal esque. Like that time, his style of like a powerful ballad. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. But I uh, did not expect that from a band called Colonial and Cousins. Now I got him. I mean, what's the name? Why Colonial Cousins? Obviously, there's a reason for the name. I'd love to know why they call themselves Colonial Cousins. And it was such an interesting mixture. And you got to give them major points. I, you feel total sincerity in every word they were singing and what they wrote that they've got they mean that message that they're saying in the song sorry I was looking up um, yeah to see if there was a uh, what is this stop it no, go, go away go away uh, no. It says their album was platinum. Uh, so during Love's career. So he wrote jingles. And they met with him high, high he had called him to sing a jingle. Uh, I can't find it. Mm. Well, let us know if you know uh, why their name is Colonial Cousins. MTV Asia Viewer Award Maybe one is... Maybe one when they met, one was in Pakistan and the other one was in India or Bangladesh and India. Maybe. And so they believe they're related and they're connected because of the colonial mm. separation. We're really good India. singers. Beautiful really singers. Good singers. Yeah. It's super I'd interesting like actually name. hearing it <laughs> in English. <laughs> it feels so dumb. Our, you can't help us for having never heard of something and our initial imprint is going to be what you got in the opening. So Colonial uh, Cousins. Colonial Cousins. Um, it actually, it's the Colonial Cousins. It sounds like an SNL skit. It does. Totally sounds like we're the colonial cousins. Yeah, we yeah. Love, we love each other more intimately than our siblings. It was super interesting. I can't say something I said in the car last. Hearing right. them sing like in English, because I just yeah. I wasn't expecting. No, it's weird, that. isn't it? Yeah, I don't know why it's weird. It is weird now because it's, it's beautiful. It's like, oh, wait, that's English. That's it's supposed to be, I guess, an Indian language. We sit down here. We normally hear. Some of uh, a language that is not our own. Yeah, it's it's funny. We uh, Andrani and I were somewhere yesterday, and this lady, um, we were talking to her, and the lady was, you know, she clearly could tell that she was Indian, and talked to her about being from India, and she said, "Well, how long have you been in America?" And we're like, uh, "Like, she's been here for like two weeks." <laughs> she said, "But your English is so good." <laughs> She was sincere. It's just like, well, the second largest English speaking uh, country <laughs> in the world was actually uh, India there. <laughs> but that goes to the level of most people in the West, no clue. 
And we, we were included in that. Most Americans won't know what language Indians speak. No, they'll say they, they, speak, they speak Indian. Indian. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. Just like we speak American. Uh, we can't help our educational system. Nope. It dumbed us up. Anyways, let us know more about them. Uh, let us know more songs from them. Yeah, they were really fun. good. They were really good singers. Uh, so let us know down below. Josh.